Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a behind the scenes look at how I create content on my iPad Pro. As a professional video producer and photographer, both on and off YouTube, I figured I could use this outlet and my production knowledge for good to do a bit of skill sharing in addition to the videos that I currently do. So let's make it happen. What is up my friends, it's Ray back here and today we're going to be taking an exclusive behind the scenes look at how I create things on my iPad Pro. This tablet has become an instrumental tool in not only bringing to life some of the videos that you see here on my channel, but also in making my dreams a reality. I've had some awesome business opportunities pop up because of this thing right over here. For example, here's a quick little edit that I made at CES earlier this year that I didn't really share here on my YouTube channel, but I did actually issue a challenge to myself to use this instead of a laptop to cover the event. So it was kind of a learning experience for me as well. Whether it be covering live events, managing brand opportunities, editing photos, scripting out videos, or just filming here in my studio, my iPad Pro has become a game changer for creating content. It's not perfect, but if you know its limitations, the sky is the limit. I've been kind of on this mobile filmmaking kick lately where I've been filming a lot of my iPhone 11 Pro and later editing things together in LumaFusion on my iPad Pro. Sometimes though, if I'm on a tight turnaround, I just start editing things on my iPad iPhone and later continuing on my iPad. The two just work seamlessly together. This mobile filmmaking process might not be for everyone, but if you want to pack light, travel smart, get impressive quality, and take as minimal gear as possible, you're going to find this to be right up your alley. So what are the secrets to my iPad Pro video editing workflow? Well, it all starts with the apps. The ones that I mostly use are OneNote to script out my videos, Affinity Photo to edit photos, specifically thumbnails, LumaFusion to edit all of that video footage together, Outlook to manage and reply to clients and brands, and lastly, files to organize all of the content that I'm working with. Those five apps are basically the glue that make everything that I do possible. Of course, outside of them, I have all the social media apps plus Lightroom, Discord, Chrome, and a few other ones that I actually use pretty often as well. Typically, the process for a standard video of mine is pretty simple. I've reached a point in my content creating career where I'm able to efficiently produce content without breaking my back. And part of the reason for that is having a localized folder accessible with all my video assets. This includes intros, outros, lower thirds, graphics, project files, etc. Whether it be on my laptop, in the cloud, or on my iPad, having a folder like this essentially just makes things drag and drop. Even on your iPad, with split screen view, you can just drag from the files app right into LumaFusion or whatever app you're using. Since I have all my video assets always on deck and ready to go, I usually start my production process by coming up with the initial video idea. I'll research trends, read comments for things you guys want to see more of, or if it's an event, I'll just base things off of that. Coming up with the title and the descriptions are honestly probably the hardest part for me because I'm not the best writer. For the actual scripting, I usually type out what I'm thinking in my tone of voice and read it back to make any edits. To me, scripting things out makes things feel a bit more polished and professional. If I told you guys that I was reading off of a teleprompter right now and reading the script that I just wrote, would you guys believe me? From there, I'll head over to my studio, set up the camera, lie my phone down in the teleprompter, and get going. In the past, I used to fully improv my videos from start to finish, but I found that I would often miss out on things that I wanted to say, and things would just end up going all over the place, so this workflow has actually really worked quite well for me. On the other side of my studio, at the other table set, I shoot any B-roll footage that I would need, like the smooth pans of the iPad Pro that you're seeing right now. Thinking about it now, I should really make an updated studio tour because I turned this space into something really pretty cool. Anyways, after all that production work is done, I'll use a USB-C card reader to pull over all of the footage that I just shot off the SD card and onto my iPad Pro. Now begins the dragging, dropping, rearranging, touching up, color correcting, etc. in LumaFusion, which might I add is arguably the best mobile video editing app out there. Even with 4K video, the iPad Pro handles things like a champ and doesn't sound like a plane taking off like most laptops 
laptops end up with doing the same thing. When all is said and done with the edit, I export the final project, design the thumbnail and affinity photo, and open up the YouTube app or the Safari browser, copy and paste everything that I wrote in OneNote prior to this, and wait till the scheduled upload time to make the video live. In a nutshell, that's pretty much my workflow and how the iPad Pro is just awesome for making my YouTube videos possible. So guys, that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. And also as a reminder, I wanna remind you guys that I set up channel memberships here on my channel. So if you enjoy the work that I do, find it helpful or wanna support me or fuel me up with a cup of coffee, well, now you can and enjoy exclusive perks in the process. It is an exciting time to be here on the channel. There's so many videos in the pipeline. And you know, even if you're just subscribed, liking, watching, Watching, it really does mean the world to me. So out of the bottom of my heart, I really do just have to take a moment to just thank all you guys for everything. It really is amazing. And I hope you guys learned something new in this video. Like it was something totally different than what I normally do. So I hope you enjoyed it. And you know, until the next one, I'll catch you guys later. Have a great day. Go game. Go have fun. Go out there. You know, it's going to be nice outside and have some fun. Peace.